Hi, this is Bowen Karens, former Papa World Champion, and uh, we're here at the Papa facility near Pittsburgh to talk about some more pinball. And I'd like to show you uh, one of my favorite games, No Good Gophers. Gophers is from the late 1990s, a game by Pat Lawler. Oh, no. His last design before Bally Williams shut down in 1999. Gophers has one of the most interesting shots in all of pinball. It's called a hole-in-one shot up here in the upper right-hand corner. And what you might notice about it is the shot isn't on the regular play fields. You have to hit the ball off a little ramp in the middle of the play field called a slam ramp. The ball goes in the air, and the goal is to get it to fall into that hole in one hole all the way in the back in the upper right hand corner. It's a really ingenious idea, one that I've rarely ever seen in any other pinball game. And it makes the hole in one shot one of the most unique shots in all of pinball. As you'll see throughout the game, Gophers also has two Gophers that pop up underneath each of the two ramps in the middle of the, of the play field. And some players get really aggravated playing Gophers because if those things pop up and block your ball, uh, you can actually have the ball drain off of one of the Gophers because the thing just got in your way. Uh, so a lot, of, uh, a lot of players have a, a lot of nasty things to say about Gophers. And as long as you don't take the game too seriously, it's a good time. So let's play Gophers. and. Uh, I'll let you know a little bit about what I'm trying to do strategy-wise and maybe talk about uh, some of my experiences playing Gophers in the past competitions. Uh, one of the biggest goals I'm going to try for is to play multi-ball once or twice. And multi-ball happens by raising the Gophers, which you do by shooting the center ramp, then shooting the Gophers, which they pop up, and then the lock comes on behind the Gopher. So I'm going to try to do right away is shoot that center shot several times over to raise the Gopher, bring him down. Raise the Gopher, hit the Gopher, Trap the ball, lock the ball, lock it up. So the second time around, it's raised to go from the, sec the center shot, and the gopher will be the other guy on the right. So it'll be center ramp, right ramp, right ramp. All right, now I'm gonna try for the hole in one. We'll see if it goes in. It bricked it. Right ramp, center ramp, right ramp. And then once I get the ball back, shoot it in the hole in the right, and the second lock is there. Two locks. Light the multi-ball, which is that putting green shot. You can see it lit up in orange there, and the game is telling me, shoot putting green to start multi-balls. All right, you can also shoot the hole in one to start multi-ball. So if I, get in, if I get in there, that'll start it right away too. So let's try that again. Yep, bricked it. The hole in one feels really satisfying if you can pull it off, but it's one of the hardest shots in all of pinball. And again, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why I really like this game, because it's hard to get that in there. When you finally get it going, and you get it once, or get it a couple times in a row, you can really feel good. So in this multi-ball, first ball's gonna kick out into the bumpers. First ball's gonna come screaming back at me. Second ball will come into the bumpers. And the third ball will come here. It's that third ball that gives me a chance to shoot a jackpot. So here it comes, and we'll get see if I can get that jackpot pulled off. And it was totally bricked. But here comes another chance. And another chance. Three, three missed shots already. Wow. Fortunately, this game has a restart, and by shooting the putting green, you can get a new multi-ball. And by not shooting the putting green, you feel stupid. Oh, Here we go, no. another chance. All right, so again, the jackpot is the the right, the uh, side ramp with the upper flipper. And with two balls on the right, I'm gonna try to bop one ball up into the air, then shoot the loop in the jackpot with the other ball while this ball is up in the air. So this ball is going to bounce up a little bit, and then I'm going to try to shoot the, lock, the loop all the way around the back, and I'm going to the jackpot shot. We'll see if it's successful. Oh, just missed it. But that was an unfortunate and a poor multi-ball. But, so it goes. Try to get back into the next multi-ball. It's a little more difficult, it requires more shots. But it's basically the same idea. Raise the gopher, shoot the gopher, and then shoot the lock behind the gopher. So there's a little bit of a lather, rinse, repeat kind of effect to this game where it's not that interesting in terms of the strategies you use to try and develop a good tournament play. So I'm gonna try to get the ball again and get into the multi-ball again. And hopefully do at least somewhat better than the last one. The other thing that you might try sometimes is to shoot the putt outs, which are hole awards. And some of the hole awards are good, most of them are kind of lousy. But if you see a good hole award, you may as well try for it. Uh, I'm not sure what my hole award is right now. Gopher's choice. You can, 
move the whole awards around. Speed Golf is actually a multi-ball award, so that's a good one. I'm going to try to shoot now for the putout. And Speed Golf will give me a multi-ball. So this is one of those places where it really pays to know uh, what the game is trying to offer to you. Because now, and there's a hole-in-one. Sweet. Unfortunately, in this round, the hole-in-one isn't worth very many points. But getting to know where that hole-in-one shot is located is really useful because when then the, when the next multi-ball comes, you'll be able to crank out some supers. So in speed golf, every shot in the upper play field is worth points, and uh, you're just basically trying to get the ball up to the upper play field, bouncing off things as much as you can. It's like that cart that's up there. Got a little award there, another little award. And there isn't a lot of points in speed golf, but it is a multi-ball. You're not in as much danger of losing your turn by making shots. There's 400,000. Another 400. Another hole in one. Boy, some good hole in one action in this round. But, like I said, it's not really worth as much as the hole in one would be worth in a regular multi ball. But fun little multi ball. Didn't get a lot out of it, but I actually got more points out of that than I got out of the real multi ball that I was trying earlier. So. Let's get back into the action of trying to get to multi-ball. You need to shoot the center ramp to raise the gopher. On gophers, frequently the right flipper can't shoot the center ramp. Um, so one strategy is if you get it on the right flipper, just to try to bounce past it over. Oh, friggin' gopher. The gophers will pop up at random times and block your shots too, which is one reason why I think a lot of competition players actually don't like this game. It's uh, kind of random in that way. And weird things happen and you have to make shots at gophers like that one to be able to shoot the locks. So there's a lot of randomization in this game compared to some of the other games that might be useful used in competition. I, I personally, I enjoy that. Although at the time, I was playing the game and if you hit a gopher and you lose the ball, you really feel like, well, you feel like dropping a few F-bombs at it, really. Um, so let's try to get a jackpot or two more than I got the last time. That kick out is a real bear. Well, let's see if I can pull this off. Geez, I'm terrible at that shot right now. And that's um, kind of a good, kind of important shot to be good at. I mean, that was a jackpot and all. So what you just saw there was what's called a Newton cradle or cradle separation. Um, I now have the ideal situation for where my balls are located in this multi-ball. Sorry, that sounded a little dirty. Um, I'm gonna try to put this ball around the loop and then get the jackpot with one direct shot. Boom. And boom. Missed it again. I'm shooting that way too late. There's another nice Newton cradle there. There we go. Bounce, jackpot. Give me the super. Get up there. Now that I've got a jackpot, I'm trying for the super. The super is the hole in one. So my goal is to get the ball into the hole in one. Get it up there. Get it in that hole. Boom! And the greatest shot, one of the greatest shots pretty much in all of pinball is that super. Oh, shoot. And a return shot. Wow, that was cranked out. So sweet little, sweet little super. Get the little glory music out of that. Uh, looks like actually another nice award is the putt out. So I'll do that, and it'll give me either the rip off or the. Uh, There's the rip off. Rip off is a two ball multi. -ball. Good lord! Why is it doing that? And that's gophers. So let's try to see if I can get to another multi ball here. Twenty one million is a good score, especially for one ball. Um, but uh, my best personal score in competition play with no extra balls is 600 million. And when I said that it's kind of important to get good at shooting the supers and shooting that uh, hole in one, that's where that came from. This competition was Pinburg 2002, where Gophers was one of the qualifying games, and both myself, Keith Elwin, and a few other players got pretty good at shooting the, uh, the hole in ones. Elwin actually got uh, 19 hole-in-ones in one game, which I've never heard of anybody getting that many before, and I've never done it. But um, I managed to get some hole-in-ones during multi-balls to the point where I actually pulled, picked up a, uh, a super jackpot worth, I think, 70 million maybe? I can't remember. It was it was a ridiculous amount of points in the super. Uh, so that, that game actually turned out to be the highest score anyone's gotten on three balls and no extra balls. And one of the highest scores anybody's gotten even with extra balls. Uh, my high with extra balls is a little over a billion. Um, I have heard of people doing better than that, but uh, you know, it's nice in competition to be able to put up a big score. And sweetness. So I'm going to try here. It's ball three, so let's concentrate back on getting multi-ball going. 
Um, and the third multi-ball takes seven shots on each each time for each lock to get around. So it's it's pretty difficult to get to a third multi-ball. I think we'll, we'll be able to do that. So let's get a lock, miss that shot there. I'll try to get a lock, see if I can get around the second one. And I'll give you one last piece of advice about locks. Gophers was built with a rule to try and stop the player from doing this repeatedly shooting the center ramp. If you shoot the center ramp three times in a row, the gophers get mad at you. Um, and it's kind of bizarre, but the gopher will then pop up and block the ramp. So if you're trying to get that third multi-ball or the fourth multi-ball, and that gopher pops up and he blocks you, you kind of really host yourself. Well, the way to do this is to take your seven shots, but don't take three, three, three in a row. So it's one, two, and then don't shoot the don't shoot the center ramp. Shoot anything else. Okay, shot, I think I got enough time there with, by shooting something else. And we're going back to this again. One, two, don't shoot it a third time. I shot at the other ramp, and that's fine. Now I can go back to shooting the middle ramp. Shut up. And one, two. The very last shot is okay because it raises the gopher and you're not as you're not worried about it. So there's seven shots. Oh, card attack. Good award. Oh, the ball is stuck behind the frickin' gopher. Frickin' gophers. <laughs> In card attack, every shot is worth a certain amount of points, and shots around the shots to the upper play field are worth more than the others. Um, card attack's pretty valuable, but we're not going to concentrate on that right now. We're trying to get into that second multi-ball, so I'm actually going to let that go. And the second lock is there on the right. It is sometimes possible to backhand that with a quick flip, so let's try that here. Quick flip to the right, and it rolls right in. So, to players who are just getting good at competition pinball or just trying to get good at pinball overall, try backhands. That's one of the things I encourage to all players. This is surprising how many shots you can make from either both flippers or from the flipper that you're not thinking about as the normal sh shot. So if you can see a path from the flipper to the ho to the shot, usually you can make it with that flipper. So now let's try to get that multi that third multi ball going. Started off with a hole in one. That's the way to play it right there. So that third shot that'll start the multi ball directly. All right, again, the upper ramp here is the jackpot, and then after jackpot, I'm gonna try to shoot a hole in one. Boy, nasty, nasty kick out there. And my ability to shoot the jackpot is still very low. Now two balls on the left flipper, I'm trying to get a ball either into this ramp hole or around this loop. So what I really need to do is get these separated. This is called a cradle separation. And uh, what you have to do is flip the ball over, bounce it up a little bit, and then get it to try and roll back off the ball and out. So tap, badoonk, that was perfect. Cradle separation. So now I can shoot the loop over on the left, get my jackpot. Another brick. God, the bricks are the bricks are being laid today. So patience is pretty key. Also, sometimes you have a ball trapped in multi ball, you might be tempted. Use that flipper every time. But let the balls bounce off. You'd be surprised how often it's okay. So I'm gonna try the cradle separation again. And that time it failed, but I'm basically back where I was. And that time it pretty much almost succeeded. I'd also say that a lot of the time the tap tap flips are very valuable. A tap flip is basically just a very quick, soft, short flip tap. And now I'm in a spot where I can really aim for the supers at, at leisure. Super is the super is the hole in one. So to get the get it going, I have to shoot the center ramp. It'll give me a shot at the super. And I missed it, but it'll give me another chance. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And then you go back around, make another jackpot, try to go for another super. It's, it's, uh, it's very cool. When it really starts getting going on this game, you can really get it rolling. So after the third multi-ball, the fourth multi-ball actually takes nine ramp shots to light the lock. 
Again, he's trying not to make three in a row to the center ramp. So two shots and then make something else. Two shots, make something else. Two shots, make something else. And we'll pass that over. Oh, that would have been that was I was I was looking pretty good as a combo there. But when there's three shots left, one, two, three. Oh shit. <laughs> three. Lock comes up. Uh, that time, it, that's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to be able to hit the guy, but uh, it didn't give me credit for the lock either, so I guess we're even. All right, got to get that lock. Okay, so that's one lock. Jeez Louise, man. Hey, give me my lock. Screw you, bud. All right, let's get that lock. Give me credit for that, will you? Thank you. I don't know what that, what was going on with that. Go for uh, sometimes... I don't know, sometimes weird things happen with Gophers. So now another nine shots to that ramp. And you gotta have a lot of patience uh, to play this game. Obviously that was pretty bad, but because I didn't hit anything, I get it back. <laughs> get in that hole in one. Boom! Sweet, sweet hole in one. Again, one of the best shots in all of pinball. And, uh, geez. Some things in this game are just strange to me. Like, why did it shoot that ball right back at me? Well, it won't be getting the fourth multi-ball. And the uh, cool little effect there with a the bomb going off and you miss the Gopher attack. But it was a good game. 50 million is a great score on Gophers in competition with no extra balls. Like I said, I've, I've actually managed 600 one time ever. Uh, but uh, this is enough to get my son's initials into the game. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, please let me know uh, what other videos you'd like to see us perform, what games you'd like to see, what you'd like us to talk about. And uh, take care. Happy flipping.